I'm just going to start to pop over a couple small jumps. And again, I'm going to feel his mouth across the top of the jump. Not so much stiffing him, but just remember, reminding him to take his time. Just working on keeping him nice and straight. And again, reminding him to land and go forward in a straight line. And put the outside leg on him, he's to come forward. The thing I like to do for this particular horse and rider is Lynn is a very, very, very soft rider. Loves to ride with a loop in the reins. I just have to remind Banjo sometimes that he has to just stay a little quieter as he leaves the ground at the jump. Sometimes her reins get so long and she's so relaxed that he gets a little bit quicker than I would like him to get. But like I said, it just takes a couple, couple firm jumps with my hand, a couple half halts, and he's right back in the groove. I like to make him do simple changes while we're practicing. And as any hunter, hunter rider knows, you know, the hunters figure out the course is pretty quick. So I try not to let them always think they know what's best and where they're going. Unfortunately, in the hunter ring, it's all pretty much regimented and routine what direction we're going to do everything. So even the oldies but goodies need a little reminder just to slow their brains down and regroup, give the riders a chance to regroup. Tying out my draw reins here because they're getting a little long. Very dangerous. Always remember to do that. I'm going to do a little add in the line the first time here. distance there in the downward transition like I said he only really gets trained on one day a week and it takes him a few minutes before he remembers about all that and again never want to be too harsh remember his job is to pack his mama around 